Hey everyone! It has been a hot minute since I've done a cooking tutorial, but today, because it is so cold and rainy outside, we are going to be making some freezer jam. I've loved freezer jam since I was a little kid. We always kept it in the freezer because it never got too hard. And then you put this like ice cold jam on warm buttery toast and it was just the best thing in the world. So right now, right now we have some rhubarb, strawberries, and then frozen blueberries that I got in bulk from my dob. I've already um, microwaved some of the rhubarb because we're just trying a modification on a recipe and um, we're going to see how it goes. But we're going to make strawberry jam, strawberry blueberry jam, blueberry jam, and strawberry rhubarb jam. And it's going to be great. So follow along and I will show you how to do it. So this is about two pounds of strawberries that I have um, hulled, which means taking out the green leafy parts, hulled and sliced in half. We are going to be mashing them on this old uh, cafeteria tray because we want to get like a pretty uniform um, smush to them, I guess. So we're just going to do it in parts. I'm going to use a potato masher. I'm going to smash them up. And then we are going to mix it in with our half cup of rhubarb that I microwaved. I finally chopped the rhubarb and then microwaved it because uh, I don't want raw rhubarb chunks in our jam. Okay, so here we have our smashed strawberries. Uh, this is about half of them. I did the other ones right over there. And then we have half a cup of rhubarb. So I just microwaved this and it got soft without having to add any water, which is important because we'll be using liquid pectin today as our solidifying agent. So we're going to go ahead and dump that into the bowl and then we're going to measure um, a cup and a half of strawberries. So this is the strawberry rhubarb mash. Um, we have to wait because our jars are still in the dishwasher before we can add the rest of it. But in the meantime, I am going to be washing, hulling, cutting, and smashing the rest of these berries. I have six, four, I have four more pounds. So that should be more than enough for what we're planning on doing. Okay, so we've got our strawberry rhubarb mixture here, and we're going to be adding four cups of white sugar. And then we're going to mix it all up and let it sit for ten minutes. Now I would like to correct myself. It was one and a quarter cups of crushed strawberries, not one and a half. So you have half a cup of rhubarb and one and a quarter cups of crushed strawberries. It's all stirred up. It is quite thick. It's almost the consistency of like a smoothie. Yeah. We're going to let it sit for 10 minutes and then we are going to add our serto, which is the gelatin, the pectin, pectin, yeah, pectin that we're going to be using today and then just a little dash of lemon juice. Okay, so we've let this stand for 10 minutes. We're now going to be adding our liquid serto packet. We're going to add the whole thing and make sure to get all of it out. So squeezing it really well all the way down. We're also going to be adding one tablespoon of lemon juice. There we go. And then we're going to mix it constantly for three minutes and then it will be all ready to put into our jars. So it's all stirred up for the full three minutes. We're now going to use a funnel to put it inside of our jars. These are just reused jars that we've been saving. These are Tostitos salsa jars. This is a jam jar. We've got a whole bunch more in the refrigerator over there. But yeah, we're just gonna fill it up. Now we want to make sure to leave good amount of room in it because it is freezer jam, so it's going to freeze. So we're only gonna wanna fill it up to probably about there and give it all that extra room to rise as it freezes. So we've got three beautiful jars of jam here. We're going to be giving one of them to the neighbors because they supplied our rhubarb. Um, they're quite lovely people. I'm going to be doing this again with regular strawberry. That'll turn out looking a bit more like this. See the darker color between the two? And we're going to do strawberry rhubarb and blueberry. So I'll give you uh, those measurements, but not the whole process. And then I'll show you the end result. So this is the end result of all our jam. It turned out to be 15 jars. This is the strawberry rhubarb, but uh, it's the exact same color as the strawberry jam. So I'm gonna have to label them, of course, and we'll see if there's a taste difference. I'm not sure there will be, but there was three of the strawberry rhubarb, four strawberry, 
for blueberry jam. Now this jam is such a gorgeous color and I'm really excited about that. And then I mix the strawberry and the blueberry together. You can see texturally how they kind of work together to get this gorgeous kind of magenta colored strawberry blueberry jam. So I will put all of the ingredients and proportions uh, together for anyone who wants them. Just send me a private message if you'd like them. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to eat my jam and I hope you enjoyed watching this.